Well, the Aces dance team helping the fans and the dogs stretch things out here at Melbourne Ballpark. The Heat stretched out their lead in the top half of the seventh inning. Heading into the bottom half, though, it's 6-3 Perth and a new pitcher on the mound. We have another pitching change brought to you by our friends at punt123.bet. Another raised prospect on the mound for Perth, Junior Williams getting his first action of the series after Connor Lowry finishes things off in his two-thirds of an inning for Perth. William will face the bottom of the Aces order, 8-9 and then 1 in Aiden Willis, Jared Cruz, and Aaron Whitefield. The only hit among that three was Willis's home run in his last at bat, and he's back in the box to lead things off. He got a great the 22-year-old right-hander. He got a great piece, Josh. His last time up, blasted that one out to center, and that one was not a, as big of a beneficiary of the wind as some of the others. High pop up out to shallow right center field, diving play unsuccessful, and now Willis is going to take advantage, head to second base. It was a tough run for Ulrich Boyarski. And that should go down as a second hit of the day in consecutive at-bats for Aiden Willis as we take a look at the All-Star Access Higher Instant Replay. Another one for extra bases for Aiden. And one thing with Aiden is you know he's always going to bust it out of the box. He's not going to just dog it and say, all right, lazy fly ball, let me just jog to first. No, he was out of the box in a hurry and smelled base hit as he saw that one drop in right field. Yeah, pretty much anything that comes off Willis's bat He's got to think extra bases. Certainly has that speed. So a leadoff double brings up Jared Cruz, the utility man for Melbourne, as he takes a first pitch strike from William. Cruz 0 for 3 today, grounded, or 0 for 2 today, excuse me, grounded out in his last at bat. As we take a look at the final line for Connor Lowry, two thirds of an inning, clean line, but one hit allowed. So no walks, no runs allowed, no strikeouts. As a high bunt down the first baseline, it's going to be enough to send Willis to third. And a whole lot of interference in front of the first base bag. That's going to corner up the runners for Melbourne. Should, be, should go down as Cruz's first hit of the day. A, just a really difficultly placed bunt single. Yeah, good, good uh, placement there from Cruz and just trying to make something happen any way you can. Keep a rally going. And now runners at the corners with no outs for the top of the order. And it is ruled an error. That's going to go on Junior William, a raised prospect who pitched the majority of his last season with the Carolina League champion Charleston River Dogs. Six games in the FCL where they set a record for best regular season record, but lost in the finals to the FCL Yankees team. First pitch to Aaron Whitefield in there for a called strike, and it's 0-1. Not a long season for William, though. In total, just nine appearances across the FCL, the Florida Complex League, played out in Port Charlotte, where the Raids have their spring training and their practice facilities. And then in Charleston. And Whitefield lifts this one deep into left center field. Could it go? Goodbye! Aaron Whitefield, one swing of the bat, ties this game up. Well, I had a feeling we were going to see something like that happen after the ball in right center dropped and then that bunt attempt that led to an error brought the tying run up. Whitefield hadn't done much so far in the game. A couple strikeouts in the walk. He got a pitch in the, in the middle of the zone and didn't take long for this game to be tied. Yeah, Junior William just left that one right over the heart of the plate. And we have a brand new ball game here in Melbourne. Six to six. The Aces get their fourth home run of the day. None bigger than that, though, is the first pitch to Chris Burke misses to make it 1-0. Well, I mentioned it earlier, all solo homers for the Aces before that, but the three 